Hey everyone, in this video we are going to draw a circle tangential to a line at a given point and this circle is going to pass through another specified point. So here you can see we have our baseline AB and we have a point P, just a random point and on the line AB we have a point D. Now D is our tangential point. The first thing we're going to do is connect D to P. Now you'll see two circles at these points, but the specific points we're going to use are the centers of the circles. After connecting D to P, the next thing we're going to do is draw a perpendicular line or a vertical line at D. Right? And this line is called CD. So here you can see all our points A, B. We have DP and we have CD. Our circle is going to pass through points P and D. Now the angle CDP is very important. CDP, you will see me measuring it right now. It's 30 degrees. It just so happened to be 30 degrees, but it can actually be anything. All right, so CDP is 30 degrees, and what we want to do is mirror this angle at point P so that the angle line cuts line CD. It sounds very confusing, but you'll understand when I do it. So we're going to point P, and we're going to draw a line from P to line CD. And the angle that we need must be 30 degrees. All right, so you can see me here just opening up my angle by 150. I'm going to trim the excess. And now I'm going to measure the angle. So the angle at P must match the angle at D, which was 30 degrees. And as you can see here, this is also 30 degrees. Now we are almost finished. We are almost finished. If you didn't get that part, feel free to go back, slow down the video, and go through it again. Now where the angle from P cuts line CD, we'll call that point O. And O is the center of our circle. So I'll just use OP as radius. And you can see that the circle, the circumference, also passes through our tangential point, which is D. And that's it. What we're going to do now is simply change the layer of our circle so that it stands out. And we are also going to change the layer of our baseline because he is also very important. And there you have it. This is how you draw a circle tangential to a line at a particular point and ensure that it passes through another specified point. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more content like this.